Five. All right, so let's do ourselves a favor. Don't talk. Focus. And we're going to do it, okay? Fernando, how you doing? Good. We're going to try and keep you right. Okay, so here we go. Today's date, December, December, Dies. Our objective is we're going to explore, we're going to, we are going to solve series and sequence problems using their formulas. Okay, write that down. Okay, solve series and sequence problems using their formula. Okay. So we've got two formulas today, right? The first formula is with just making them. Okay, the first one is just making them. It's the formula for making a sequence. You can make any term you want. The formula. Second one is if we want to add them all up. Right? It's a sum. That's why we put yes. Yes is the sum. Okay. So if it is geometric, and we know it's geometric, if we're going to multiply, multiply by the same number, and that number we're going to call R. Okay, boys, boys, focus. So multiply by the same number to make the next term. And again, up above, I'm just going to put that one I keep listing because it's an easy one to see. I mean, if I go 3, 6, 12, 24, 48, 96, that's an easy one for us all to see. It's a pretty basic one. Um, it really gives the idea that we're times in by 2, times in by 2, times in by 2, times in by 2, okay? So if it is geometric, we've got a formula. All right, I like that. We've got a formula. I'm going to highlight my formula, okay? So if it is geometrica, we've got a formula. And I'm going to use this formula to do example one, but I'm going to wait till you're caught up. Okay, everybody got it? Thumbs up if you're with me, if you're caught up. If you're not caught up, I'll wait for you. Okay, everybody all good? All right, let's take a look at example one. So first of all, I like to ask myself this. Is it geometric? Question mark. Is it geometric? Question. Is it really, is it geometric? Okay. Yes. How come? You're totally right. Why? Why, Victor? What we times them by? We times them by three. So that means R is three. Totally agree with you. Okay. Times by three. Times by three. Times by three. So I know it's geometric. Good job, Victor. Good. Write a rule. Well, I rule every time I see this. That means formula, right? That means formula. I've got a formula. A n, A1, R to the n minus 1, okay? So when I make a formula, I need a variable. What letter is my variable? What? N, right? Agree? Everybody agree? If I need a formula, I need a variable. N is my variable. So in this example, I'm going to go A of N equals, well, A1. What's A1? Good. What's my multiplier? My ratio is 3. Okay. Now, nobody is going to make this mistake. It's never, ever going to happen. This is not 15 to the end power. It is not. It's 5 to the end power. Everybody agree with that? It is not 15. Don't do that. It's 5 to the end power. 3 to the end power times 5. Don't look at it. Thumbs up. Don't make that a 15. It's 3 to the power, right? Not 15. So now I've made a formula, and let's use our formula. So let's find the 20th term. Where does, the, where does 20 go? Uh, for n. Good, for n. Nice job. So I'm going to go a of 20 equals 5, 3 to the 20 minus 1. Okay, now, Luke, you and I have old school calculus. I'm just going to make this a 19. I'm just going to make this a 19. Does that make sense? 
because um, the old school calculus won't quite do it as well as the new ones. So 3 to the power of, see, Luke, if I go 20 minus 1, it's not really, old school calculus is going to be wrong. Oh, crap. This is going to be wrong because it's going to take it to the 20th power and then take that answer and subtract the answer that I want, right? I want that one up there, so I'm just going to change the last line up and make that to 19. Now, if you've got a new calculator, notice they'll do that, right? So, you got an old calculator, right? Old school, I'm just going to back up. I want to go delete, 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 delete. I'm just going to do 19, okay? Oh, my goodness, that's not big Now, does that answer make sense? Yeah, because we're just going to keep multiplying. See how big it gets? It gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Let's see, that is a 5811307335. Put my commas in there. So 5811307337. Okay? Whew! What did I find? Well, I found the 20th term. I mean, I could have kept going, 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 kept going right? <laughs> or I just used my formula, like turbo, turbo to, the, to, to the 20th term, right? Okay, not too bad? Okay, all right, example two. Let's do some algebra two. Okay, write a rule. Write a rule, okay. They tell me it's geometric, so I know I'm going to use this formula. Okay, I know I'm going to use that formula because it tells me it's geometric, so I'm going to go to my formula. Um, I don't know the, I don't know the first term. I know this. I know a six. I don't know the r term. But I know if I use 6, right, I could go uh, 6 minus 1, right? So I've got the same dilemma I had before, right? Let's see if we can make sense of this. Six, okay. If I put my 54 here, and if I put my 1,456 here, okay, So let's call this one for right now. I'm going to call this one A1. And I'll call this one A4. Right? I went back some. That didn't show up very well. My pin's just about dead. A1, A4. So I can use my formula. And I can say A1, we'll say is 54 times R, which I don't know. And I'm going to have four terms from here to here, 4 minus 1. And that equals my last term, my A4, which is my 1,456. Okay? And I'm going to show you what I did. What's N? What's N? 
There's four turns, right? Okay, let me go ahead and I'm gonna go back. Thank you. you made a mistake, okay? So all I'm doing, all I'm doing is switching the whole thing around. I'm moving the whole thing back two. You got it? I moved everything back two because the pattern doesn't change. So let's see, 58, okay? All right, let's solve for R. Let's solve for R. What should I do? Solve for R. What am I going to do? Divide. Yeah, I agree. Did you say divide? All right, what is that? Alonzo, thank you, because I could have had a bad answer, right? 50, whoops, 58 divided by 54. I get 27. I got 27 equals r to the third power. Okay, solve for r. Solve for r. Solve for r. Solve for r. How many solve for r? Don't say divide by 3, please. Don't say divide by 3. Multiply by 3. No, don't say that either. Plus by root. Cube root. All right. You're right. Yeah. There you go. Cube root. Nice job. Cube root. Cube root. So what is the cube root of 27? What times what times what makes 27? What times what times what? Three. So R is? Three. There you go. Okay, good. Got something going. Okay, R is three. Okay, now we can make a formula. Okay. So I want to make a formula. Okay, but yeah, before I do that, let's make A1. So A1 is not hard because we know that here we times by three. Here we times by three, right? So I got to work it back. What am I going to do? Divide by three. Yeah, divide by three. My first term. Okay, so 54 divided by three. What is it? 18, I think. Yeah. Okay, 54. I'm going to divide by three. I think I get 18. Divide by three. I think I get what? Okay. Now, what's our first term? Eight. Awesome. So here's our formula. Okay, we're going to use this formula here. I'm going to go. All right. My answer, a of n, a1, I got that, r, what's my multiplier, good job, n minus 1, okay, there is my answer, I'm going to highlight that, done, that's a formula, okay, and we could use that formula if we wanted to find any term, this is not 18, remember, don't make that 18, do not make that 18, right, okay, are you turn the page or am I going too fast? All right, now, geometric series. Now, the word series means add them all up. Thank you. Ah, uh, here, grab. Um, okay. Yeah, we just give to Luke, and then he'll get down there when we're done, okay? So, series means add all up, or sum, right? Get a formula. All right? So, example three. You watching? Okay, you watching? Example three, right? Example three. Example three, right? Okay. So, I can go 2 plus 6 plus 18 plus 54 plus 162 plus. Um, I have a guy, I don't know, plus, 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 plus. That will work. That will work. We got a formula, right? A1 is what? A1 is what? Two. Two. Good. Uh, what's our multiplier? Two. What's our multiplier? Oh, it's uh, three. Three. How many terms do I want? You want 20. 20. What's R again? Three. three. Isn't this easy? No. Let's just put it in the formula, right? So we're going to go S of n equals, our formula says a1 times r 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r, right? That's our formula. So I'm going to find s of 20. I'm going to find s of 20. a1 is my first term, 2, parentheses, 1 subtract r is my multiplier, which is 3, to the 
twentieth power divided by parentheses one minus three. Okay. Now I'm going to do something really pretty obnoxious, but I want you to see this. You're going to use a calculator, right? Uh, Why in the world would I make those parentheses so obnoxious? I don't know. You got it in your clock and make sure that you don't divide by one. Oh, yeah. What are you going to divide by? One minus three, which is negative two. If you don't use the parentheses, your calculator is going to divide by one. That makes sense? Nice job. It should be a big number. Everybody agree? It should be. Should be a gigantic number, so I'm going to just type it in. Watch how I type it in. Even old school calculator can do it. Two parentheses. All right, there it is in my calculator. And you see where the parentheses are? Yeah. Yes. Where's the parentheses? Let the calculator work. Now, if you've got the new calculator, it looks a little bit better than this 20 like that, right? Old school. And push enter. You have the answer. Okay. Okay. Almost done. Push enter. Wow, that's a big number. But it should be. It should be a really big number. I got 3, 4, 8, 6, 7, 8, 4, 4, 0, 0, comma, comma, 3 billion, 408 million, 784,400. Okay? Huge! But look how big this thing's getting, Emily. I mean, this thing's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, right? And then we gotta add them all up, right? It's a big number, isn't it? Okay, last example, I'm done. Last example. What does this symbol mean? Sum. Sum. Okay, and I have a formula, right? I got a formula. So, my formula is A, let's see, A of S of N, A1, 1 minus R, to the n all over 1 minus r, okay? So let's use my formula. What's a1? Do we know what a1 is? We can make it. Let's see, a1, let's see. a1 is going to be negative 3 times 1.5 to the 1 minus 1 power, right? We could make a1. I just plugged 1 in there, right? So let's see, I've got to go negative 3 times 1.5 to the 1 minus 1 is 0 power, right? Nope, never mind. I did that wrong. I did. To the power of 0. And I got an answer of negative 3. So my first term is negative 3, OK? So I know I can put negative 3 here. You guys see how I made, it, made the first term? Yeah. Luke, you watching? I just plugged in 1, right? First term is negative, so I can put negative 3 there. What's my multiplier? What's my multiplier? 1.5. Yes. How'd you know that? Yeah, yeah, you see it right there? Doesn't it sit right in the same spot? Nice job. So R is 1.5. We are adding up a whole lot of terms. Let's just let the formula do it. Um, S of what? How many terms am I going to make? 15. Nice, because we're going to go from 1 to 15, right? A1, what's my first term? Okay, 1 minus, what's my multiplier? 1.5 is my ratio to the what power? 1, 2, 0, 15. Isn't that what N is? Yeah, and then divide it by, what's my multiplier? So, let's see if we can get it. Negative 3, parentheses, 1 subtract, 1 1.5 to the power of 15, parentheses, divided by parentheses, 1 subtract 1 1.5, okay? Put it in the calculator, make sure you have the parentheses in the right places. The parentheses are really important. Boom. Now, this one came out to be negative. negative 
blah, 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 okay? Because we're always multiplying by negative three, aren't we? Negative number, it kind of makes sense. So here's what we're gonna do, okay? We've got 20 minutes. I want you to work on page 208, one to 12 all, okay? And we'll let Miss Victor take a few of you with you, okay? I'll, I'll stay in here, I have to leave a little Okay, you just stay in here, good. Okay, that'll help me. Okay, we can focus, we can get working. I can get this film to stop. Stop. Oh, stop. Stop. <laughs>